What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Sorry, I had to adjust. Um, love you guys. Just saying, just saying, saying. Um, if you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Pro 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. Very private, confidential way to donate. If you choose to donate, just saying, just saying, saying. Um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, if you think anyone else would like my channel, um, etc., 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 please feel free to share it very publicly via social media and word of mouth. Very much appreciate it. Single mom with two kids over here. So it helps support a single mom and one of her income streams. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Appreciate it, you guys. Yeah. Okay, so um, it's just me here this weekend by myself. So we're rolling. I got another one. I mean, good Lord. I'm about to go out for walking here in a minute, but get out of the house. I saw somebody get arrested today in my neighborhood and all kinds of crazy shit. So, um, I'm getting out for a little bit. Just saying, just saying. I don't like being cooped up in the house very long if I don't have to be. Um, now if I'm raising my kids or we chillax and we doing homework, we cooking, that's different, but I'd much rather be out. Anybody knows me knows that. So, okay. So the channel message I received, uh, received was, um, Someone, um, uh, I heard someone, your, specifically your toxic family, cannot stand the fact that you are a business owner and you are independent on your own because it basically, because it, uh, it defrauds everything they have done to you in the past. They tried to make you very, very, very codependent, codependent in the past, but it's clear as day that you have always been independent. That's what I heard. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So your toxic ass, if this message applies for you, of course, of course, as always, these are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So one message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. So you have to plug the message or messages into your own particular life and situation, how they resonate and apply if they do, okay? Um, but whoever this particular message is for, feel you can be masculine or femme. But you are a business owner. Now, you may do side hustles. You may work a full-time job in the 3D, in the, our everyday world. You might work a part-time job. You might work a PRN job. You might have four side hustles. But you definitely have at least one business. At least. Some, I feel you might have two or two plus. They don't like that. Because you, you, they're toxic. Your family is toxic. They don't want what's best for you. They're karmic energy to you. They do not want what's best for you. They want you to be codependent. And I heard apparently they have done some shicey ass shit to you in the past to try to make you codependent. But it's clear as day now that you have always been independent. So it makes them look like fools basically because all the shiesty karmic shit they did to you in the past I feel it's about to energetically backfire on them or it already has because it's clear as day you're independent. I feel you're independent. You're stable. You're happy. You um, do you. I think feel you stay in your lane. You don't harm other people or situations. I feel you grow and manifest yourself in a proper way. Pay your bills. Do you, honey boo boo, and stay out of drama. Is what I feel. Um, it's, it has already backfired on them. It's about to seriously backfire on them. The truth has seriously been exposed to many people and is about to be exposed to many more people. Many, 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 many more people. Okay, so the truth is already, okay, so it has already energetically backfired on your toxic family in the past. If this resonates for you, mass scorpion energy. Um, it's already been exposed to many people, but it's about to seriously backfire because it's about to be exposed to many, 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 many more people. Now, I'm not saying you, you know, whatever your income level is. Um, you know, and it, I'm a business owner too. Y'all know that. This is a business. High Priestess Intuition is a business. Um, once I get to a thousand subscribers on uh, on hashtag Leo Gang, ha caps Leo Gang with the exclamation point, I will monetize that as well. Um, but us readers, we these are businesses for us online. And that's just straight up cold hard facts. Um, and that is the truth. It is the truth. Now, am I here to help out my collective? Am I here to deliver the channel messages and give you my intuitive take and advice if you choose to take it? Absolutely. But at the end of the day, this is a business. Uh, we do get 
re ad revenue stream on the back end from Google AdSense. Now, is it a whole bunch? No. Depending if, how many subscriber count feeds into the stream, your view count, and donations from your lovely subscriber or subscribers, really all depends on how your business does. But at the end of the day, these are still businesses. And that's, I mean, that's just cold hard facts. Um, I don't BS you guys. I never have on here. And that's just the truth. Um, I keep it 100. Anybody watches me or come across my channel, I keep it 100. And I just do for real, for real. But that is the truth. That is the truth. And um, so these are businesses. But whoever, I mean, I'm not saying you're a reader. For some, you could be readers. But you are a business owner. Whatever you are. But your toxic family cannot stand it. Because whatever they did to you was foul and damn fast. I didn't hear it was foul. That's just my intuitive logic and take reasoning on that. It was foul, man. It was foul. Foul. Just saying, just saying. Foul. Yeah. Um, and um, I heard it's about to seriously backfire on them. So um, I'll put you down a little bit so I can shuffle these cards out. But And I don't want to disturb him. My little baby. And my boy, man. I'm my boy. Um, but it was seriously foul. It was seriously foul. And um, basically, I don't know why the hell your family wants to make you so codependent on them. Um, you would, like, talk it, normal, healthy family dynamics would promote independence in everybody so they can gain their wings and fly away from the coop, not trying to beg back to the nest. I mean, that doesn't make damn sense. Doesn't make a lick of damn sense. And that's just the truth. This family is about to experience horrible negative karma. Horrible. Some have already experienced negative karma. It's about to get really bad for them. Okay, I heard this family is about to experience horrible negative karma. Horrible. It's already gotten bad for them. It's about to get really bad for them. So, um, but in all fairness, they shouldn't be trying to make their own family members codependent. Like, that's going back in society, not progressing forward in progressive nature. What? Just saying, just saying. I'll make a damn look of sense. I wouldn't want to live in that family dynamic. I've been estranged from my toxic family for years, but they don't ever really hardly speak to me. And I put the little screenshot of the message with my foster mother do the other day. And hell, it's been a long time since um, she's reached out to me and nobody else in my toxic family reaches out to me. And they haven't for years. Um, so, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Community. Healing. Okay. That, that's looking good. Okay. We have deuce on the bottom of the deck, but I heard don't take it. So. Community and healing. Well, this is looking good. So. Your toxic family, I'm sorry, buddy. Your toxic family is about to, uh, has already experienced negative karma. They're about to experience more negative karma. But you, I feel you're healing in your community. I feel you're healing your community or you're healing in your community. I feel networking energy here for some reason. I feel networking. I didn't hear that. I just kind of feel networking. And I'm just being real. You are a wonderful, 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 wonderful healer. Wonderful. Your family was so damn jealous. But it's about to backfire on their ass in a huge ass way. You are about to get wonderful opportunities. And people your past is about to backfire on too. You're about to get wonderful opportunities. Wonderful. And they are just going to have to sit back and watch it happen. Okay, well, looking good for you, ma'am or sir. You can be a ma'am or a sir, masculine or feminine, whoever you are, ma'am or sir. Uh, okay, so it's toxic people of your past, so karmic energy people of your past, and toxic family, whoever you are, sir, ma'am, okay? But you, I heard you're a wonderful healer, um, and many people know it. So I feel you've done good in your community, good in your world. I feel this could be social media community. Or this could be physical 3D community, or it could be both. For some, it could be worldwide, uh, depending on your reach. Um, 
your reach with people how that resonates like i have some people that on my channel that are in different countries uh canada australia etc 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 so i mean i'm of course i'm only a thirteen thousand some some subscriber channel but i do have people that reside in different countries on my channel um and hopefully my channel will start growing 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 i would love it to grow 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 everything i do i put my heart and soul 100 million percent into it so of course i want it to grow you know it's not like i get on here and make a two minute video and it's a crap video and i expected to get twenty five thousand views like i put my heart and freaking soul in this shit and that's just the truth anybody who's been me a hot ass minute they know that and that's the truth but a lot of us readers do not just me there's a lot of readers that get on here and put the heart and soul into it so and i kudos you know i promote a lot of readers so i feel do a good job on here and that's the truth um giving back to my my community my spiritual community but my point is is your toxic family and toxic karmics from your past did not want you to do well they know you're a wonderful healer in your community in your world um and whatever reach you have i feel social media platform energy and 3d community energy and maybe both for some of you guys but they know you're a good healer i feel spiritual healing spiritual community and i feel 3d physical healing like medical community energy for some you could be both like i'm both y'all know i am rn and a spiritual um light side spiritual practitioner on here a uh, spiritual light worker so um you know social justice warrior psychic investigator whatever you want to call me light worker what have you what have you um so i do both um when i'm not getting wrongfully terminated in my community but I do do both. I do, absolutely. But, um, and I feel some of you guys might too, is what I'm saying. For some, you might do one. For some, you might do both. But you're a wonderful healer. I mean, you got a healer upright. You're a wonderful healer. You do good work. People know you do. Um, and, but your toxic family didn't want you to be recognized. They didn't want you to be recognized. They didn't want you to be rewarded. They wanted you to remain latched on to them like a freaking tick for some strange ass reason. That's so backwards. I just don't even know what to say about this shit and that's just the truth it's so backwards um hopefully your family can progress forward because it's 2022 coming to the light just saying just saying um but i heard they're about to experience very negative karma they've already experienced negative karma they're about to experience more negative karma but i think it's because well uh, well i know it is because i heard it's because people already know the truth and many more people are about to learn the truth so people i've already gotten wake-up calls more about to they know the truth so many people already know the truth more about to so basically all this crap talking they were doing about you or all this negative crap they were putting out in the universe about you try all this time trying to make you codependent and latched onto them like a tick on a damn dog or some crazy shit it's about to backfire it's about to backfire on their ass um so um healing and community you are a wonderful healer healer in your community whether it's social media 3d physical community or both how that resonates and applies okay i'm sorry baby this is really looking beautiful i heard um you're about to get wonderful opportunity soon sir ma'am you're about to get wonderful opportunity soon and basically your family's just going to sit back and watch it from afar hopefully from afar i feel whoever you are you put boundaries up with them i feel you have put boundaries up with them and um hopefully you keep them placed because um that i feel foul right from the past and i just mean foul i didn't hear foul but i feel feel foul and i'm just being for real very foul thing oh my god very foul things is what i heard very foul things so they did the most to your ass in the past the most anybody ever seen beetlejuice hashtag the most just saying just saying foul shit the intellect i feel you're very smart very intellectual um i think you can quick uh think quick on your feet i think you're witty i think you're very intellectual very smart very um um i heard you're very good with money 
you're very good with money. So, I mean, hell, if you're good with money, then um, you got to have some brains in your damn head. And that's just truth. Whoever you are, I don't feel you have like a credit score of 400 or 500 or 600 even. Um, I don't care how much income you bring in in a year. I don't care if it's 30,000, 40,000, uh, 300,000. Um, I feel you, um, you manage your money, whatever it is and whatever you bring in, in a proper manner to keep yourself out of the low credit score, to keep your bills paid, to keep your mortgage paid, to keep your lights on, to keep your lawn maintained, to keep food in your home, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Whoever you are, I feel, you know, you take care of yourself. You're very stable, dependable, reliable. I don't, and I'm not downing people that get on uh, public assistance. I just want to say that before I say this. I'm not downing people that get on public assistance, but I don't feel you're a public assistance kind of person. That's what I'm saying. I feel you have always taken care of yourself. I heard you've always been independent. Always. Um, like, I've never used public assistance for myself. I don't judge people that do, but I never have. Like, food stamp. well, I've used, well, I take the back. I have. I used WIC. I used WIC when I was married to my ex-husband. I used WIC for our children. And I used utility assistance one time when I lived out in the country, but that wasn't actual federal assistance. Um, that was through the local utility company. But um, that's the cent of assistance I have used. I have never used um, food stamps or welfare or um, Medicare or Medicaid or, um, or um, the Section 8 or something like that. I've never used any of that. Um, I'm not downing people that do. I, I, I'm absolutely not. But what I'm saying is, I think you're really good with your money. You're good with your money. You manage it properly to where you don't get in sticky situations. You see what I'm saying? Um, and I think that pisses your toxic family off because I think for some of your toxic family, they rely on help. They rely on assistance. They rely on people. They like to leech off people. If that makes sense. I didn't hear that. That's just my intuitive logic and take on this. So I think you're very smart. Um, I don't care what your income level is. Business owner, because you're a business owner. Um, you either have one business or two or two plus businesses. But whatever income you bring in, whether it's 30000 a year or 300000 a year, you do good with what you bring in. Um, and you manage it well. And you've always taken care of yourself, and um, it pisses your family off. And I heard they're about to experience huge um, more, like, they've already experienced negative karma. They're about to experience way more negative karma. Um, and you're about to start getting some wonderful business opportunities, sir or ma'am, um, which is going to, I think, help your business grow or businesses grow or help you network. Because I do feel networking energy here. I didn't hear networking, but I feel networking. Healing and community. I think you, um, I heard your community knows you're a wonderful healer. So I think they're going to want to network with you. I, I feel this could be community outside your physical community too. Like people out, out of area, out of state. Um, this could be traveling, networking, traveling, connecting. Um, it could be activism. It could be, um, um, which I think is wonderful. I think activism is wonderful personally, but everybody's got their own little thing. But whatever it is, is what I'm trying to say. Whatever the crap it is, it's really wonderful. It's really beautiful energy. And you would think your family would be happy for you, but they're not. They're, they're not because they're toxic. They are stuck in their old, um, outdated belief systems, basically. And, but that's their own, their own um, things they're going to have to work through, basically. Um, because whoever you are, you're very progressive. You're very progressive, and I think it pisses your family off. Yeah, the sun, dude. The sun. Um, you might be a Leo, or you might just be happy because it makes you happy. And this is also enlightenment, too. Happiness and enlightenment. So for some, you might get the enlightenment on business opportunities and the networking and the et cetera, et cetera, et cetera soon. That's what I'm feeling for some with the enlightenment with the sun. And I think it's going to make you happy. For some, you might be Leos or have Leo in your chart or dealing with Leo, possibly. Because um, we have Leo energy here, but maybe not. Uh, but we are in entering, we have entered Leo season officially today. I'm so freaking happy. It's my favorite time of the year. Anybody knows me knows that. It's my most favorite time of the year. Um, 
One, because of Lionsgate. And two, because I'm a damn Leo. So it just makes me happy. Just saying, happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy. And tomorrow's my, my dude's birthday. It's going to be 15. That makes me so happy, too. I can't believe I have, a te like, big teenagers. I'm too damn old. But you only live once. Just saying, just saying. I might be 30, almost 39, but I'll rock the hell out of my 39. Just saying, just saying. But, yeah, it's going to make you happy, man. The sun. Let's see if I hear anything. You are a wonderful shapeshifter, wonderful, and it's about to benefit you in huge ways, huge. You're about to start being able to live life, live, 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 live life the way you've always wanted to. Oh my God, yeah, baby. So um, you're a wonderful shapeshifter, wonderful, and basically heard you're about to start being able to live life, live, live, live it the way you want to live it. And you got the Queen of Wands. I feel you might be looking sexy. You might be looking fly. You might be a thin energy or a masculine or a femme. Um, or getting your sexy on. How that resonates. Um, but you might be happy. Pretty fly for a white guy. You're a wonderful shapeshifter. Meaning you're able to go into situations and transmute the energy to your benefit. You don't go into situations screaming and yelling and acting a fool and calling people bitches and hoes and sluts and... Um, uh crazy demeaning things you um you handle things with grace with tact with your intellect your brain your head you're not impulsive i don't care if you're a fire sign or not you're not impulsive um, and that's really beautiful that's really beautiful sir ma'am just saying let me see if i hear anything else Bitches be pressed, and they're about to continue to be more pressed. They thought you were going to crawl back to them, but they're so narcissistic. And many negative tower moments are about to happen for them, but they did it to themselves. Oh, my God. I heard bitches be pressed. I heard bitches be pressed. Oh, my God. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my God. Why would anybody create that kind of situation to have somebody crawling back to I just don't get that mentality. Like, my kids, for example, my kids are 15 and 16. Do I want them crawling back to me at freaking 19 and 20 and 21 and 22 needing me? No. I want them out there being successful, going to college, going to tennis school, school, tennis school, school going, getting a job, um, being self-sufficient on their own as much as they can be. Of course, if they need me, they know they can always come back to me. A freaking 100 billion percent. Absolutely. But, do I want to create negative series of chain of events to make them come back to me? So I can say, oh, here's $20, honey. So they feel they need me? No. I want them to go out there and know they can make that money on their own. Somebody's getting a huge wake-up call. Somebody's getting a huge wake-up call. I mean, I'm serious. I'm serious. That creates very unhealthy cycles. I would never want that for my kids, my 15 to 16 year old, never. I want them to have confidence in themselves so they can get out in the world and know they can make that $20 in a right way, not a $20 make you holler way. But like, make that $200, make that $5,000, get that $10,000 bonus. Get out there and impress the hell out of your employer or employers. So you know you can do it on your own. So if you need me, you can come back to me. If you truly need me, but it's only if you need me, you need to have the confidence to go out there and know you can do it on your own, or at least try to do it on your own. Um, and I mean, that's the way I look at it because I, I raised teenagers and I've raised them on my own a long time. And that's always been my mindset. Um, and I'm just being for real because I don't want codependent adults. I want them to know they can get out there and be confident, know that they can get out there and slay it. No, they can get out there in the world and fulfill their goals. I hope anybody would want that for their kids. And that's just the truth. I know I do for mine. Uh, I heard bitches be pressed. So they're pressed over you, but they should have never, because I heard because you haven't come crawling back to them. Well, nobody should ever have to come crawling back to anybody. Whether it's a, in this situation, it's a toxic family dynamic. 
Nobody should ever have to feel that way. And if you do feel that way, it's a toxic family dynamic if anybody needs to hear that. And I'm just being serious. I would never want my kids to feel that way, ever. Now, if they do need money, then absolutely, if they're adults. Of course, right now, they're not adults, and it's my responsibility as the adult to provide for them. But I would never want them to feel that way is what I'm trying to say. Never. I, somebody that wants somebody to feel that way, I just don't understand it. Let me see if I hear anything else. Someone is about to be so publicly humiliated soon. So publicly humiliated. And someone's about to get high on her soon. Speaking from the heart. And the truth. And someone's about to concede soon. Oh my God. So someone's about to get high on her soon. Speaking from the heart with honor, um, truth and honesty and clarity. Someone's about to get publicly humiliated soon, and someone's about to concede. Concede. Now, concede means withdraw is what. Now, yes, I graduated uh, high honor uh, in high school, but that was a long, long, long time ago. So let me look up the definition of concede. I think that means to withdraw, but let me make sure, okay? Woo. Surrender or yield. Yeah, surrender or yield. So surrender or yield, I would I would think withdrawal would be in that too. But the definition via dictionary.com is surrender or yield. Concede means surrender or yield. So somebody's about to concede, surrender or yield, or withdraw, possibly. Um, somebody's about to get high on her, speaking from the heart with truth, clarity, and honesty. This is upcoming in the universe. And somebody's about to be publicly humili humiliated. So it's at least three people in the universe. Maybe you guys fit into this category. Or maybe you know somebody that's about to, this is about to happen to. Um, I feel for a lot of you guys, if you're the family member that has withdrew from this toxic family, I think you're about to get high on her. Um, possibly. But you plug it in how it resonates, sir, ma'am. But somebody's about to concede, withdraw, um, pull away. Um, what was the other definition? Hold on. Surrender or yield. Somebody's about to get high on her by speaking from the heart with truth, honesty, and clarity. And somebody's about to, um, uh, what was the other one? Um, be publicly humiliated. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, whoever you are, sir, ma'am, that has withdrew from this toxic family, I don't think you're the one about to be publicly humiliated. I absolutely don't because I think you have put good into the universe. Um, so... I think it's somebody else. I think it's your toxic family or people connected to your toxic family um, that's about to get publicly humiliated. But you plug it in, how it resonates. All right. Well, this is a long read. We're done. I love you guys. I'm about to go walk in. Love you. Namaste.